who was the craziest nasty boy in Cincinnati? Which one was the craziest? <laughs> Paul, which you one can was flip it? a coin on that one, but I, I tell you one thing: that uh, when I look back at that, um, <laughs> I, it really changed baseball in my mind because you you see the way baseball is played now with the bullpens, and that was really the way that team was set up back in 1990. Uh, I mean, going into the playoffs, you know, you would look for your starter to go to five or six innings, and then Charlton, Dibble, and Myers would come in. But uh, a lot of people don't realize as good as they were, you know, Rob Dibble for a couple years was the best I had ever seen in baseball. I mean, this guy was pinpoint control, wild delivery, threw 100, was, you know, fearless. I mean, those guys were part of something that was uh, was to come, and people emulate in, in baseball putting bullpens like that together. Did uh, – did, did... Did Lou ever really fight with these guys? Then what happened? Oh, uh, yeah. What they happened? had a little scrum in, in Devil's Locker one night. I what what happened? What could, I, I got I got to get that story, Paul. What do Chris Sabo told me, come on out here. Lou and Devil are going at it. So that I come out to referee in a towel and shower shoes. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, that happened. That wasn't, uh, that wasn't made up. <laughs> <laughs> Who won it? Who won that one? The Dibble win well, that one? I think when it was all said and done, they were both uh, uh, a little embarrassed at the time. But, you know, I think we were pulling. I mean, you got to figure Rob Dibble's in his prime. Lou Pinella is the manager. Uh, you know, we were pulling Dibble off of Pinella. So uh, <laughs> usually who's on top is, is winning fight. Could you imagine if something like that happened today, Paul? What would happen no, in our world? No. Times right. have changed. I mean, we were going over things last night about, you know, some of the old stories of Babe Ruth and Ty Cobb. <laughs> You know, fighting fans and screaming stuff mm-hmm. from the dugout. You know, times have changed. There's no doubt about it. Yeah, Babe Ruth and Ty Cobb would have had a heck of a TikTok page, don't you think, Paul? You know, <laughs> yeah, no doubt about it. You know, I mean, that's just. Uh, I mean, and 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 you're right though. Those Reds to have the guys come out of the pen like that. Um, and then uh, w- w- having the arms like that, you're seeing that today, right? Where everybody comes out throwing flames, but then you're also seeing um, uh, somebody like uh, you saw another uh, advancement of it in front of you, with the way the '96 team was put together, right? Where Mendoza would give you an inning, and then uh, Stanton might give you an inning, and Nelson might give you a couple of batters, and then you go to Mariano. Everyone forgets that Mariano was the setup guy for Wetland in that 96 year and now that's what you're seeing yeah i mean the yankees were one of the first teams i know Larusa was doing a lot of it too with the white Sox and the a's and the lefty righty stuff but you see that back in that day it was just starter had to go five innings and the starter had you could have been cone or key or uh, you know eventually clemens i mean that was the way to win baseball games in a way paul yeah, especially right especially big games i mean you got into um you know, the World Series and the playoffs and things like that. And, and Joe Torre would go to Mariano for, for you know, numerous innings. He'd, he'd, he'd go to him in the eighth and have him pitch two innings. So uh, that's back again. You, you mentioned that you had great matchups with, with Nelson and Mendoza and Stanton being the lefty, where today, you know, the, the rule of facing three batters, it's just – it's not nearly as much as matchups as it is just power pitchers out of the bullpen. And, uh, I mean, you're seeing it in every – uh, organization, uh, the elite organizations that have a chance to win, uh, have great bullpens. <sighs> Paul O'Neill here on the Rich Eisen Show. The reason why I'm sighing is, you know, I, I'm just remembering baseball like that, right? I mean, uh, one of the biggest hits I've ever seen in the playoffs was Girardi hitting that triple, right? Against it was against Maddox in '96 in that in that sixth game of the World Series to actually win it. And I just think today that that might have been caught by a fourth outfielder. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I, I'm serious. I, 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 what what do you think of the way the game is played today, Paul O'Neill? You see it every night on Yes, you know? There are a, a lot of analytics, obviously, and I, I still am old school to the point where that's the generation I played in. But, you know, uh, you, you talk about Joe Girardi's head. I was fortunate enough to be on base and actually – felt Yankee Stadium ground shaking when I stepped on home plate. I mean, that, those are the, the things you'll never forget. But, uh, you know, I think they are going to address the shift next year. Um, do I think that hitters could learn to hit the other way? Absolutely. Do I think they want to? No, because there's so much into the home run and so much into, you know, the launch angle and the things that, you know, we didn't have to complicate hitting other than, you know, putting your work in, seeing the baseball and hitting it. And, uh, you know, to me, the art of hitting is is seeing adjustments. And, um, you know, you see guys taking three of the biggest swings uh, every at-bat. Well, that's no adjustment. That's just hoping a pitcher makes a mistake. So 
Uh, you know, there are still great hitters in the game. Don't don't get me wrong. I mean, when you look what Aaron Judge is doing this year and you look at LeMayu and Trout and guys like, you know, that know how to hit, uh, they still put up unbelievable numbers. But there are guys out there that they call, uh, you know, successful hitters that strike out 200 plus times and, you know, walk 100 times and, and hit 190. That That's uh, that you can get away with that now. And in the old days that, you know, that you were sighing about, I mean, it was an embarrassment to, to strike out and not so much anymore. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.